everybody. Welcome to the Graced Farm craft room today. Uh, we're going to work on these two little plaques today. I um, realized in going through and cleaning up my craft room here, I have a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff. And uh, I think doing crafts and buying crafts are two separate hobbies. Uh, I am determined this year to make them <laughs> one and the same. Actually, I'm going to go through the stuff that I already have here in my craft room and make some projects and share those with you. Uh, the first thing is these two little signs. They're little plaques that you can purchase from Michaels. Uh, they're like $2. Um, and I'll talk about that when I go into the instructions. But uh, I'm glad you're here with me and I hope you enjoy this craft. To get started, we have these plaques from Michaels. They are small plaques by Art Minds, I believe. They're like $2 a piece. I went ahead and stained them uh, two different browns. So I've got some early American and some dark walnut here. And we're just going to measure them. So that's what we're going to measure our paper to go on top. Now I chose just this simple pattern paper. And if you're going to put anything on top of it, um, you definitely want it to be a smaller print. You don't need it to be so... Um, busy. Uh, I'm just going to end up putting this little hope metal sign on the corner. So I just want to make sure that that will stand out. Okay. And it looks like that it will. And I might end up painting that. I don't know. We might leave it silver. Anyway, so that's going to go on the corner of the little plaque. Um, so I'm going to cut this. And then the other piece of paper I got was just this like vintage, funny two sided paper from Authentique that I got when I used to work at a scrapbooking store. So I'm just going to find the one that kind of makes me laugh and cut that one out. I think this one right here, Service with a Smile, when she's doing laundry. I think that would actually be kind of cute in the laundry room. So I think I'm going to cut that one out. So I'm going to decide which way I want the bubbles, I want these little dots to go. I think I wanted to go this way. So if that's the case. Then it's three inches. Is that right? Yeah, that was right. Yeah, it's three inches. Just under, right at three inches. So we're gonna go a little bit under. And I believe I said four and three quarters, which, gotta turn this around. Open up my little arm here. I miss being in the craft room and doing fun little projects. I'm glad to be getting back into it. And that's pretty close because we're going to end up sanding the edges of this just to give it a little bit of a little bit of pop. Or do I like it on this one better? I don't know. We'll have to decide that in a minute. So that, and then let's cut out. Our laundry girl here. Laundry is one of those chores that I just hate so much. And it's because it's a chore that doesn't have a set end time. Like it's you do this and you wait. You do this and you wait. I'd much rather just get the whole chore done at one time. Now, if I rem this one's going to be a little bit shorter than the length of the block. So I'm going to have to, um, we'll have to trim off some of the side of her on here just to make it look like it has a complete border around. So if that's the case, as you can see, like there's this top part here, like it's much shorter than what we want. So if we square up the side over here, See how much is that? This is this is what I should show my daughter when I say you'll never have to use fractions in outside of. So we're gonna cut off just a little past that window seal there. Hopefully. Let's see. How does that look on there now? Is that squared up a little bit? Oh, I need to take off a little bit more. 
Well, that's not right. You have to do, just keep playing with it till you get it exactly how you like it. There we go. All right, now we have to decide which which plaque we're gonna, what paper we're gonna put on each plaque. All right, so I use wax paper all the time when I'm doing any kind of painting or mod podge or 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 anything like that. So. We're just going to put those right on top of wax paper. I've got a huge jar of Mod Podge. I use the matte. I think that's that's my favorite. I don't particularly like glossy. Um, we'll take just a little bit here. What I do just to get the paper on, we'll go back in the whole thing. We'll get Mod Podge at the end, but. I'm just going to put it on enough so we can get the paper on. Do a nice little coat there. Line it up. Let this sit just for a little bit, then we'll sand the edges down and then Mod Podge the entire thing. So we'll put that one to the side. Tim Holtz makes this thing anymore or not. It's a paper edger. Um, I tied all these ribbons on it so I could find it. Uh, but it's got these little blades inside of each little thing and what you do is you're just going to run your paper down it and it gives it like a you see that gives it kind of a rough edge and even though we're putting Mod Podge on it the little you'll be able to see that it has the edges on it it better with the roughed up edges on it for sure so this is going to get Mod Podge all over just like we did before even though the paper is smaller than the wood that's all right Mod Podge dries clear and we're going to cover the whole thing on top with Mod Podge anyway so that's not a big deal Might end up doing something around the edges of this anyway. Why not? All right, so we're gonna let this dry for just a minute. Come back to this one. This one feels pretty put down. So I have a sanding sponge here. We've had it forever. Just found it in the garage. Hasn't been used yet, so I'm about to break it in. But really, we're just gonna around the edges here you can see it roughs up the paper smooths it a little bit we're also working on some of that stained area on the front of the flat here just kind of rough it up make it look not brand spanking new but something that's been loved and That looks perfect. Brush off all the dust. And now we're going to coat the whole thing in Mod Podge. And I mean the whole thing. So even the sides here. If you hear Daisy in the background, she's growling at the, the wind outside. It's pretty windy today. And 
and it goes on really smooth and you'll be able you could tilt it a little bit I don't know if you guys can see it and see where the Like I said, I put everything down on this wax paper. It'll just peel right off. I have wax paper for the kitchen and wax paper for the craft room. <laughs> but you do what works best for you. I mean, because this stuff will stick to paper. So I definitely wouldn't just do it on regular paper. All right, that's been covered. And those parts that are white right there. Oh, no. Those parts that are right white right there look like just big piles of glue they will dry clear so we'll set that to the side and we'll come back to this one yeah i think we're ready to go ahead and cover her all up yeah i think this will look cute in the laundry room Anything to make you feel better when you're in the laundry room. Ours is actually a laundry closet. But I guess I could hang this in there. So there's a little shelf that I try to keep stuff off of because the clutter drives me nuts. Because our laundry room sits out in the main area of our, we call it the great room. But you could see it. Everybody could see it. So I try to keep the clutter off of it. And this will just be a little cute decorative something to sit there. All right. So we're going to let these dry. And we'll be back to finish them up. Oh, there's a bubble there. We'll finish them up with the little metal plaques. The little metal piece. I think that'll look really cute right there. And then also whatever embellishments I decide to put on this little laundry right here service with a smile all right we'll be back in just a little bit all right everybody so we're back with our little signs that are all super cute and ready for their finished detail on this one right here I have this little sign that says this little silver I guess it was a scrapbook embellishment at one time but I'm just gonna put some of these foam dots right here on the back these because the hope is pretty thin I am gonna to have to cut these in half and then just place them where I need them around and this will help the sign uh, pop or the words pop up off of the little plaque here just give it an extra razzle-dazzle, for lack of a better term. We'll show some dimension. But finding super thin foam dots here is really hard. These are the tiniest ones that I have, and I still have to cut them. I only want to do two more, and then we'll peel off the backs. All right. So I'm just going to put it in the bottom corner. You're, of course, in the middle would be fine. I just like the offset style here. And just give it a little push. And as you can see, it just kind of sits up off of the, of the front of it like that. And it just looks really cute. I really like that. Just simple and basic. The sides were, you know, worn down on the side to look a little bit worn. And this will look great and it'll just sit it could sit just like that on a shelf somewhere i love it it's perfect so we'll put that one to the side and this one for embellishments i found i got some twine i love me some twine and then i also have found these buttons i thought buttons are kind of cute for laundry so should i do two just the one should i layer it do like that oh decisions decisions I think mm. let's put the one on there and see what happens so I'm gonna wrap this twine a little bit but 
I need some to be able to wrap the button through, so I'm gonna leave leave a little bit hanging down here. And we're just gonna wrap it. We're not securing it on the back because the tension of us wrapping it and when we go to tie it will be enough. So I'm gonna tie, maybe, there we go. I'm gonna double knot it. You hold down your first knot best you can. All right. I gotta scoot this a little bit. There we go. It's too long. Too long. And then we're just gonna thread this through. Hopefully it goes pretty easy. Sometimes these twine, like this one's a really thin twine. Some twines you get are super thick and they just won't go through like beads and things like that. And you have to like cut it at an angle, shave it down, put tape on it. So this is what we're working with here. Um, I think we need the other button. I just do. That's why you start off with less and then you can always add more. Always add more. When I worked at the scrapbook store, let me tell you, it was hard not to just keep going when you were working on a scrapbooking page. You just keep adding, you keep going. And they made so many cute embellishments. I'm just going to tie a little bow here. Those Elton embellishments, they all coordinated with the paper, of course, so it just, oh, loved every bit of that. Little string. All right, so this is like sitting off, like when I go to stand it up, the button is going to fall forward. So I think I'm going to take these, two of these little foam buttons or foam stickers that I had. I'm going to stick them to the back of the button here. All right. And then just squish that. Oh, look, it doesn't move anywhere. Perfect. Stretch it out, Daisy. I hear you down there. That sweet doggy taking a nap up here. All right. Now we're just going to trim this. Real short like that. Oh, my goodness. How cute is that, guys? <laughs> oh, I love being back in the craft room. And so then this I'll just set up. Yep, it'll stand up just fine. The button's not too heavy on the front. I'll just sit that in my little laundry area. I think that'll be absolutely adorable. It's blue and gray down there in our little area. So this little pop of yellow and red will look really cute. Anyway, these are two quick signs that you can do relatively cheap. I used stuff that I already had. And um, the little plaques themselves are just $2 at Michael's the stain stuff we already had so i uh, hope you enjoyed this and uh, let me know if you'd like to see more crafts in the future thanks guys